Seth Meyers attacks Trump at Golden Globes, audience delivers SmackDown. A shocking turn of events took place at the Golden Globes, and it's not something you'll be hearing from the mainstream media. After Seth Meyers attacked President Donald Trump just five minutes into the Golden Globes, that's about the time the audience delivered a brutal SmackDown. Mad World News previously reported on comedian Myers after he attacked Trump. Although he gained quite a bit of popularity during his time on SNL and now even has his own late-night television show on NBC, he got a brutal reality check as he learned that he wasn't nearly as famous as he thought he was. It was quickly revealed that no one really knew who he was. His name was trending on Twitter with an incorrect spelling, meaning, well, no one took him seriously. As it turns out, the embarrassing ordeal all started over his monologue during the Golden Globes. Less than five minutes in, Myers started attacking Trump through a series of jokes, but things didn't go according to plan. In fact, Myers found out the hard way that people really weren't up to hearing the typical liberal crap as the audience gave him a delightful smackdown during his routine. Myers said a woman might have been better suited to host the awards show given the news of recent sexual harassment scandals, but he assured the audience he was the right choice because he was a man with absolutely no power in Hollywood. I'm not even the most powerful Seth in the room tonight, Myers said. He then pointed to actor Seth Rogen who was in the crowd and said, Hey remember when he, Rogen, was the guy making trouble with North Korea? Simpler times. Source. Bizpack review. He soon took the opportunity to ease into a little heavier Trump bashing. Give it up for the foreign Hollywood press. A string of three words that could not have been better designed to infuriate our president. Hollywood. Foreign. Press, he said. The only name that would make him angrier would be the Hillary Mexican Salad Association. Too bad for Myers, that was about the time that the audience showed him how they felt about the topic of conversation. Clearly heard in the clip, there is some laughter, but it's minimal considering how many people were in attendance. As if that weren't bad enough, the chuckles coming out of the audience sounded more forced, like obligated laughter at the so-called funny man. However, Twitchy reports that it would be none other than Pat Sajak who would glue everyone into why exactly what was, and he used a little bit of sarcasm to make his point. Dropping a single tweet even before the Globes started, he simply wrote, really burned out on politics. Think I'll just relax and watch Golden Globes tonight. He brilliantly pointed out what Hollywood keeps seeming to miss. The American people don't want out-of-touch celebrities to offer political opinions, they want entertainment. People are perfectly capable of coming to their own conclusions and making up their own minds. Not only do the liberal elitists in the Hollywood crowd think their opinions are worth more than that of the average American, which, they're not, but they don't even get the irony when people don't know who they are. At the end of the day, many of these idiots are just a bunch of nobodies with a bit more money than the rest of us and an inflated sense of self-worth to go along with their inflated wallets, and they got where they are by entertaining. Sadly, that's not what Myers was doing last night, and the audience as well as a massive amount of people on social media, decided to let him know just that. If celebrities want to keep making money, they better stick to what they're good at, and it isn't political commentary. A little word to the wise in Hollywood, just shut your pie holes and do your job. America can handle the rest, all the rest.